A lot of times when you are playing the goal lane, especially a marksman, you won't be much of help to your team until the mid to late game. So if your teammates are quite inexperienced, it's gonna be hard to overcome that. But let me share with you some tips on what you should do in this kind of unfavorable situation. In this one, I'm playing an incredibly strong marksman in the current season, Clint. His first skill damage and passive skill turn him almost into an assassin because the damage output is just nuts. So take advantage of it and play quite aggressively if you can. I'll make sure justice is served today. I'm surprised Moscow is not here, but I guess he knows he's just a bad matchup for Clean, so he went for the XP lane instead. Anyway, Clean should still have the upper hand in the early game against Cho. <laughs> he did play me here. I should have seen that coming. Your weapon if I'm not mistaken, their jungler is with the blue buff, so she most likely is gonna gank my lane first. I gotta play quite defensively here. Oh, hello there. Alright. That should be a free turtle for us now. She took the gamble, but unfortunately it didn't pay off. The enemy has slain the turtle. No way. That's why I love solo queue. Games are always full of surprises. Sad. Even rubbing salt in the wound. But it's okay. As long as the marksmen can keep farming quite decently, we should have a chance to turn this around. What the folks do, visitor? <laughs> Listen to your sheriff, boy. Justice served. As long as I can keep his HP quite low, I should be able to keep farming without too much worries. Just gotta keep checking the map and make sure nobody's coming to gang me. Justice Justice has long I don't hear the jungler. This priest sauce. Nope. Drop your weapon and hands up. Alright, the jungler left. I can continue with the farm. This is my main priority now, since I'm playing the marksman role. You girls can resist a gunslinger like me. They're coming to gang me. <laughs> Busy finding a place to hide. Nice. I lowered her HP by quite a lot. Now it should be easier to take the turtle. Cho decided to gank, now the lane is completely free to farm and push.
Continuous solo pushing top will be quite dangerous. It's time to switch lanes or join the team fight. I've got a bullet with your name on it. I'll make sure justice is served today. Oof, that second skill was clutch. Well, he's 100% dead. Whenever there is free farm, don't waste it. This team loves to fight despite that we are behind in farm. Clean's damage is just absolutely naughty. Our Roger just got baited by their tank. That's the ultimate master bait when you get baited by a tank. Hurry up and out already. Shut up, you ate the bait. Don't wait last minute. XD. Prevails. Uh, do I even have to repeat that? They actually went for the Lord while we were fighting. Things aren't looking too good for us, but fortunately I managed to farm quite well, so we should still have a chance to win the team fights. I gotta make sure I don't die first though, or we're gonna lose for sure. I'm pretty sure they're gonna gain Smeralda next. Let's see if we can set a counter gank. Just 
true damage for the win. I think for this match, Moscow should have gone for house close instead of win on nature. It will have been way more useful. What the I think Atlas is not going for me because he thinks I still have Purify. Lucky. talk about this in my Angela's video. You never want to use your ult prematurely like this, especially when the enemy can escape quite easily. We almost lost two members before the Lord has even spawned. Oops, wrong time for shopping. Well, one for three, pretty good trade. Wait, my team is trying to take the lore without the main damage dealer. Let's pray for the best. That was extremely risky, but fortunately for us, they all recommitted after taking the Lord. Remember, even when your team is struggling in the early game, don't panic. Try your best to continue farming and only join the team fights when it's really necessary or there's a good chance to win them. <laughs> 